Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a quick look at how to group objects in Illustrator. Objects are anything on your artboard here. So we have shapes, we have text, we have imagery, anything you want in Illustrator can be in here and they can all be grouped together. So let's say I had a logo I was working on and I had text on the bottom and some kind of icon on the top. These are just separate objects right now. So every time I have to move both of them, I wanna select them together and then move them around. Now, if I don't wanna do that, I would group them together. So to do that, select any objects that you wanna make into a group, right click and go to group. That's pretty simple. The shortcut key there is either Command G on a Mac or Control G on Windows. Now, once they're in a group, Anything you click here, it'll move around the entire group. So if you click on any part of that group, it'll move it around as if you selected everything. Now what happens if I wanna change things? Let's say I wanna change the text for this logo. I don't have to ungroup them. I can actually double click into to edit this group. So if I double click on the group, now look up here, you see I'm in layer one and now I'm inside the group. I'm in an isolation mode. So basically I've isolated that group and I'm only working on objects inside of that group. So now I can click them separately. I could change this text. Maybe I felt like it was too bold, so I go back to a different font. And then to get out of the group, I can either hit this back arrow or go back to layer one, or anywhere outside of your objects, just double click to go back outside of that isolation mode. I still have my group, I can still move it around together, I can scale it up and down together, I can do anything, but grouping objects is a really efficient way to work with elements on your artboard in Illustrator. If you want to ungroup objects, all you have to do is select that group, right click and go to ungroup. The shortcut key for that is Shift-Command-G on Mac or Shift-Control-G on Windows.